Hey guys, this is Tampa Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your already uploaded videos that are on YouTube getting views. So if you have like a couple thousand or five thousand views and you have a lot of comments and your video is doing pretty good and you want to make a correction, delete a scene, or you want to edit it, uh, put in music, you could do that without affecting your original video that you uploaded and you'll preserve your views and your comments. So let's go ahead and get started. You want to sign into your YouTube account that the video is assigned to. And then right below that video, you'll see an option bar. You want to click on that magic wand, enhancements. Right here. Now this is the YouTube editor. You can also get to it by clicking your profile, then go to Creator Studios, Video Manager, then Videos. Under enhancements, this is the YouTube editor. Now you can add music. I'm going to show you how to do that a little later on. And, but right now we're going to show you how to delete a scene inside the video. Now you can edit your video um, and save it as the original only if um, before it hits 100,000 views. Um, I noticed with my videos that are over 100,000 views, I can't save it and it'll be grayed out. The save button will be grayed out and actually have a note above it. This video has received too many views. So now you're in your video. Let's go ahead and click on trim and then go to the part where you want to edit out. So right here for me, I'm just going to, I don't have to edit this video if I don't want it. This video is fine, but I'm just you know using this as a demonstration. All right, so right here at 308, I'm going to edit. So I'm going to hit split and this blue bar is the end of the um, section and this blue bar over here is the beginning of the section. So let's hit play again. All right, so right there at 315, you want to hit split again and the blue bar will move over here. So now this is the section right here. This is the beginning. This blue bar on the left is the beginning. And then the blue bar on the right is the end of that section. And you notice right above it, there's an X with the delete notation. So let's click on delete. So now you'll notice right here, there's a space. But don't worry, it's going to look very smooth looking. All right, so now we're going to click on done. If you're done, if you want to save it. Um, if you want to undo your changes, click, um, click on the trash can, clear. But I don't want to do that. I want to save it. So I want to hit done. All right, and then you want to check it out and see. Let's check it out. And there it is. See it? And you notice right here. You notice right here. It was um, seven minutes and thirty-four seconds, or whatever it was before. Now it's seven minutes and twenty-nine seconds. So it actually shaved off a couple seconds. Now you can um, click on save, or you can click save as new. But it'll keep your original file, your original video, I believe, and you'll create a new video. Um, also, right here, revert as original. It's like a back button or undo button. Uh, or you could just click on back to watch, and then it won't save it. So let's go ahead and save it so I can see my changes. All right, so right here, this may take a while. While edits are processed, users will continue to see the current version of your video save all right so now right here let's go click on the video it takes like about an hour I believe you click on the video and it's sit tight your video edits are being processed so it'll take about like an hour or so now if you want to add music to your video you want to go to video manager go to your videos click on that little down arrow audio all right under audio you'll notice right here featured tracks so these are the top tracks I can click on this one cold killer alright so if you position this slider right here to the right it will be only music playing no sound effects on my outro now if I move it all the way to the left it, it's you're not gonna hear the music at all but if you slide it a little bit to the right Basically, you'll hear the music and the sound effects on my outro. 
and that's where I usually put it right there right about there is I'm gonna favor original audio and the music is gonna be very subtle in the background playing all right so once you do that you want to go ahead and click on save and then click on save again and then you'll be processing I think it takes like an hour to process so now my outro has music so that's how you do it if this video was informative give me a thumbs up and if you want more videos coming your way subscribe to Tampa Tech and if you know this video will help someone out that you know is uploading videos to YouTube and this video may be useful to them click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G plus later guys